Y'all know the name. What's going on guys, my name is Matinio and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 and part 2 of our Time Attack build series. So, today, what we're going to do is the Alfa Romeo 155Q4. Because I've always I've always liked these kind of cars. I've heard, <laughs> I've heard reliability was a problem for these things, the actual the road models. But, let's hope that's not a problem today. So, we are going to upgrade this. Now... What am I doing? I don't want to do that. Uh, upgrade. So, we have the body kit presets. Now, as I said, the, the rules for this for this series is maximum top of S1, which is 900 PI. Now, if we do this and have a look, it takes it to 899 and 78,000. So, I don't know whether I want to do that or whether I want to personalise it. This would be a quicker way of doing it. And it would get us remarkably close so that top of S1, pretty much a point, one PI, I think it's called. I think it's is it PI. Have I been saying it wrong? Am I stupid? I've heard people call it PI, but 899 points. So you know, we're actually we're gonna do that. We're gonna do it. Fuck it, we'll do it. And then we're gonna take it to our test track, and we are gonna see if it can beat the the, uh, the Toyota Sleeker, which leads the leaderboard, <laughs> understandably, because it's the first car. But it's a 134. 0.048 that it's got to be and to be honest I will be disappointed if this thing doesn't break into the 129s it might not I might just you know have a bad day drive wise but who knows so let's let's just do it come on let's see what it let's just it looks so good with this body kit on it it just looks so mean and amazing it really does one more thing we're gonna do though paints we got to do we got to do we got to find a nice design for this because I know there's gonna be a lot of touring car designs uh, this one, that was a touring car, wasn't it? I think it was a touring car. Well, DTM, it was DTM, German touring cars. Uh, Deutsche, something or other. Um, ooh, I like the look of that. Or oh, there's this one. Ooh, should we go with the classic? Or, oh, ooh, hello. This one, that looks, that looks insane. That looks absolutely lunar. We've got the Red Bull one. It's okay. Uh, Sorry if you did create this, anybody watching this did create this one. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to be being like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's nice. I can't, I can't do any of these, so, you know, I'm not going to play. I think we're going to go with this one. I like the look of this one. This one is the one. I think with the black and the orange, I think we're on to a winner for this one. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to jump to our test track. As always, Ellie's going to get, ugh, it is going to get three runs. To see if it can beat the Toyota Celica and the 134.048 it put up in the last episode. So, I'm going to go and jump over to there now. Take me away! <laughs> Sorry, we're back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a douchebag. Right then, so here we go then. Sweeping forest sprint, 4.2 miles. Run number one. Let's go. And hopefully we're not going to get any lag. Brilliant start. This is all-wheel drive, of course. And this thing seems a hell of a lot faster than Salika does. Right a bit wide through there. Oh, God, this thing's so quick. A little bit understeery, which, of course, is what you're going to get with an all-wheel drive car. But overall, this thing is absolutely beastly. Run a bit wide through here. There we go. There we go. Surprisingly, we haven't had any lag yet. This one's the hard one. Ooh, a little bit. A little bit of snap over steer there for good measure. Get us around the corner. Coming into there way too shallow. Of course, no tunes on these cars. I just upgrade and drive. So here's the fast section. We're gonna jump over the go over the bridge. There we go. Of 
Come on, Matt, do you, get, do you dare keep your foot in it? Or finger? I think this is going to absolutely crown the sleeker. <laughs> so I was not making any mistakes like that. Yeah, okay, that, that kind of ruined the run. That's ruined the run. Even though both cars, the Sleeker and this one, are all-wheel drive, I'm getting a hell of a lot more understeer with this one. Maybe I've just got to adjust where I turn in. Right there, just, you know, roll over someone's garden, who cares? Fuck their petunias! Oh, yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on, ah, there we go. So, a 2.29 to start off with. Not bad, but the run was compromised because of that little hit. And it says we lost anyway, so what we're going to do is now go to run number two. I feel confident that without that little mistake, and if I can just make sure I get my lines right, I can definitely get this thing down into the 127. So, let's go and see what we can do. Run number two. Ah, we're off. Oh, a lot of wheel spin there. A lot of power. Near enough 500 brake horsepower going through the back of this Alfa Romeo. But I tell you what, it done half move. Oh, that was a lot better. That was a lot better than the first time. Oh, there's that, that understeer. Fuck! <laughs> The speed kind of creeps up on you. I'm not going to lie with this thing, it does kind of creep up on you. And that corner again is proving to be very difficult. Oh, bit of drifting for good measure or power sliding. I don't know what the difference is. See, that's a means of drift. You're under power, the car goes sideways, you. you opposite turn you're correct that's that's a drift to me and apparently it's the game as well right let's try and keep our foot in it all the way through this section it is fast there is a little bit of underspin it is a little bit unresponsive at times But my god, we're going 180 mile an hour. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna need to bring it down. Right through this section. Oh there goes the obligatory frame rate drop. I thought we were gonna get to a whole episode without it, to be honest with you. But I guess that's just wishful thinking, isn't it? It's a lot better than it was. I'll say that. See, there you go, that's done. If we can get through one episode with just one little flame rate drop, that's fine. We can just put it down to... Oh, shit. <laughs> well, yeah, we can just put it down to oh, shit, basically. I would love that to be a, a response. Like, like, you know, getting frequent frame rate drops in the, you know, the frequently asked questions section of the game. Oh, we just put it down to oh, shit, basically. No, 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 come on. Ooh, kept it out of the barriers. Yeah, but this run is absolutely toasted. We are not going to get... We're going to get a 230, aren't we? Ooh, I think we're just a 229. <sighs> okay, 229.975. So, not far off what we had last time. So, it's time to go for run number three. And this time, we're not going to make any mistakes. Okay, time for our third and final run. And we're off. Woohoo! God, I still, I still can't believe how quickly this thing moves. And I mean, I know it has to move pretty quickly to keep up with the cars that it was competing against in the uh, in the DTM, which was the uh, the, the 190 Evo Mercedes and the uh, was it E30 M3 back then, back in the uh, the early 90s. I think I'm really going to have to utilise just uh, pumping the brakes a little bit. Ooh. 
You know, if I switch this to a rear wheel drive, I think it would be pretty good as a drift car as well. Oh, keep it out the barriers. We do not want to toast this run again. I want that 127. That's what I want. Slow and steady, smooth, will win the race. Not that this is a race, it's just, you know. One idiot driving the car around the Australian outback at stupidly high speeds. I'm not going to brake as early as I did last time. I, I bitched out last time. I'm not going to bitch out this time. All right, we need to find a braking zone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, we, we got a little bit. Just a little bit wide there. Oh, yep. Yeah. There goes the frame rate drops again. God damn it. It's always this section here. Oh, there they go. They got it again. That's fine. Two frame rate drops in one episode. It's not bad. It's getting better. I think there was an update. Had to break again for that one. Got in a little bit too hot. Right, the run to the line. Oh, but it is our fastest run. It is a 228.666. That's not a good omen, is it? <laughs> well, there we go then. The Alfa Romeo 228.666. It is about, it's nearly four sec sorry, six seconds faster than the Sleeker. So, I think we've done pretty well there. And now we are going to collect our reward. 18,000 credits, that's fine. Right, wheel spin. Give me a wheel spin. Yay, wheel spin! Okay, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. We're going to get a free wheel spin. Come on, baby. Come on. Daddy wants a car. Don't give me any more money. Oh, give me that. Give me that Mercedes-Benz 198. Give it to me. Daddy wants it. Daddy. Daddy. Oh, daddy gets five grand. Fuck you. <laughs> see, look what I mean. Mercedes-Benz A45 AMG either side. I get the shit in the middle. Fucking bullshit. Okay. But there we go then, so thank everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode and you want to see more of my time attack builds, then please hit that like button. Uh, feel free to share the video around. Show as many people as you possibly can. That would be fantastic. Um, hit like, hit subscribe, stay cool. And as always, I will catch you on the flip side. Peace! What? Um. Welcome, you. Oh, okay. English. Thank you. So we have. <laughs> yeah, ain't nothing like the buzz of real competition. Come on, train with the big boys. Why do I feel like I've just joined a cult? <laughs> Is this the Kool Aid? Are we all gonna die now? <laughs>